Hello, one, hello, all. I'm here. Um, bit of a strange angle, not the typical ones. This sort of is at the same time. I think it's just a placement of where the camera is that's odd. For today's video, I have a small collection, six vinyls, of my once number one listened to band of all time, now number two, only to be dethroned by Ty Siegel, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Recently dethroned too, we're up there for well over two years, so yeah. King Gizzard, for a very long time, was one of my favorite bands um, ever. I still do enjoy them quite a bit. I will say, however, as I've gotten older, I just don't listen to them as much, but it's fine. They just they have so much music. A lot of it's really good. I think all the albums that I have here are really nice. So, yeah. I wanted to make this separate video from the rest of my vinyl collection. That way the vinyl collection video won't be as long. Let's just go straight into these. Um, I have six King Gizzard albums. Let's jump right into it. Number one, uh, one of my favorite King Gizzard albums of all time, Fishing for Fishies. Um, this is, to me, a near-perfect album, especially within the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard universe. Um, I love this album to death. Oh my god, wait, did they give me an effing poster? I forgot that they gave me a poster. I mean, I'd, I'd low-key never hang this up. Um, but I didn't know they gave me a poster of all the band members. Looking like some, some geeks. That could have been interesting to know before. Anyways, Fishing for Fishies is awesome. I love this album. So damn good. Um, really enjoyable stuff. Hopefully it's not too dark. Love this album to death. Um, so many good songs. Fishing for Fishies, Boogeyman Sam, uh, The Bird Song, Real's Not Real. So great, so good. Oh, download card just flew away. Anyways, awesome album and awesome color disc. Toxic Waste Green. Check that one out, everybody. That's some pretty nice stuff. Love this. So yummy. So tasty. Such a good album. Easily top King Gizzard for me. Probably in their top five, I would say. Brilliant little stuff from, from the Aussie boys. Next up, we're just going to go in alphabetical order as I have them. This one I haven't listened to in a really long time. I remember enjoying it. But a lot of it has just kind of flown past me except for one song. Um, this is Flying Microtonal Banana. Um, the only song off this that I can actively remember right now uh, is Milting. Can't really remember anything else, unfortunately. That's probably not the best. Another, yep, download card, cool. Here is one of the sides. Has all the has all the lyrics and stuff on it. Sorry for the glare. Can't really control that, my apologies. Um, yeah, a lot of really neat stuff. Damn, that glare is just awful. Sorry. And again, colored disc. Um, highlighter yellow. Can you guys see me? Can I be seen? It's kind of a green. Um, it is yellow, obviously, but it's, it's a little green. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. I kind of forgot, but I bought it, so it, it had to be, had to be good. Um, it would just make sense for it to be good, because um, I don't buy bad music. That wouldn't be something I would do. Right? Next up, this is my number one King Gizzard album of all time, across all, like, 20 plus maybe albums they have. This is my number one, slightly damaged, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Murder of the Universe. Love, 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 love this album to death. So good. Amazing. Dude, just unbelievably amazing. And I think Stu even said that this was his favorite album that they made, so that's awesome. They give you a booklet full of artwork. Oops, sorry. Full of artwork. 
and um, lyrics and oh, sh shucks. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's cool. It's awesome. I'm broken up into three acts: the tail, the altered beast, which is awesome, Lord of Lightning, which has some pretty high moments, and then Han Tumi and the Murder of the Universe, which also has some pretty high moments. Um, but I don't think this album is dull at all. It's a wonderful 46 minutes. I always try to listen to it um, in its entirety. It's so good. It's probably why they were number one for so long. I listen to that album daily. So, yeah. And then the color. Amazing. This is Vomit Splatter. The camera is not picking it up too well. It's a lot more yellow and clear than I think the camera is picking up. Like, I, can, I can't see through it, but when I look at this, the disc is kind of like the highlighter color um, that Flying Microtonal Banana is, but it, it just comes up a little darker, I think. Unfortunately, since this is the one disc version, Lord of Lightning, which is one of the best songs probably on the album, had to be cut into two and then put on, on each side, so that's really unfortunate. But I did see that there is a double LP version that exists. So hopefully with that double LP, that one will in fact have it not separated. I would love that if that were the case, because I love this album. Next up, probably their most known album. Not my most favorite. I honestly don't really remember most of it besides the first two tracks. Um, yeah, we got Nonagon Infinity. Um, that's their infinitely repeating album. I honestly don't think it repeats as amazingly as as people say it does. I think it repeats a bit. Um, not great like I think they could have maybe structured it a little better. I really enjoy this disc. This is probably my favorite part of it all is this damn disc. This is Side B. Side B is this um, kind of purple and pink and white little uh, thing going on but side A is awesome oh yeah that's black red yellow what else is going on in here a little bit of white too I think such a beautiful disc um, oh just I love it I love it so much probably my my second favorite vinyl design I have from them besides um, the vomit splatter obviously from murder of the universe I think that's really cool but yeah just really Really, I love I love their their vinyls. They always do really cool, really interesting colored vinyls, and they they never cease to disappoint me when it comes to the colored records. I think they do a really good job every single time they hit it out of the park. I have an issue with my vinyl copy though, um, that the sleeve doesn't quite fit all the way unless I push it down in there and like crinkle it so that's a bit annoying not really sure what's up with that guys this was 26 fleeping dollar oh no no yeah it's sticking out at the top I thought I just fixed it for the first time in years now this one so glad I got this also in the top five favorite King Gizzard albums for me we have the lenticular version of Paper Mache Dream Balloon. Sorry, I forgot what it was called for a minute. This is the one that is numbered out of um, 6,000. I have right down here number 2,000, eh, 2,462. If you guys can see that, 2,462. Very awesome. Uh, two LPs. One has the album on it. The other one has the instrumentals. And the instrumentals on this album are gorgeous. Let me slide this off real quick so you can get a better look. At this beautiful, beautiful lenticular cover. Oh my heavens. Oh, unbelievable. Here's the back again. Not lenticular, but that is fine. This is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. This is gorgeous. What? <laughs> Dude, it's just, oh my god, it looks so cool. Probably one of my favorite King Gizzard covers, if not my favorite. So bright, so happy, so beautiful. Oh, oh, there goes a download card. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, this is disc one. This has the album on it. It has all the lyrics. Uh, let's look at these. Wow, very cool. And then I believe 
Yes, this is the sea glass blue disc. A nice kind of glassy ocean blue, not ocean blue technically, but it has this little, yeah, you see that? It kind of feels like it moves around like the ocean, like the printing of it. Kind of, it's ripply, kind of wavy, very nice. So many good songs on this album. Another near perfect one. Uh, some of my favorites Paper Mache Dream Balloon, Cold Cadaver, uh, NGRI Bloodstain, and Time Equals Money. Time Equals Money brings me to tears when I listen to it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, same thing with Paper Mache Dream Balloon, especially when the flute and everything comes in. I think it's so pretty, it's so cute, so beautiful. I love it. Um, this one just has artwork on it because this is the uh, instrumentals. And I believe this is a nice light pink. Yes, it's a light pink. Kind of like a rose quartz almost. Is that how they say it is? No, they just say pink. I would say this is rose, rose quartz like though. Very cute. Very delicate on the eyes. Um, very pretty. Very pretty. And it's all acoustic instru instru instrumentation as well, which I just think is really awesome. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite King Gizzard album is. And if you own any of them, uh, which ones do you own? I'd love to hear. Um, love to hear about your collection and what you guys think of the band. I think it's very fun. Um, so yeah, just let me know in the comments. And last but not least, very good album. Very, very fun album. I know, it's a, sometimes I see it's a lot of people's favorites. Um, more than I would expect. Um, I think it's very enjoyable, but it's definitely not my favorite. We got Polygoned Wanna Land. Um, I, th I think this album's really good. I understand how it's some people's favorite. I think it's still a very spectacular album. I like almost all the tracks on it. I just, it doesn't really... Um, totally do it for me, I guess. Just a bit indifferent to it at times, I guess, I could say. Doesn't take away from it all, though. It's still a great album. Color, very cool. We have this clear with this... Oh, sorry, it's kind of picking it up weird. Clear with this um, kind of Ninja Turtle ooze green. I think that's pretty cool. Very awesome. Very cool stuff. Um, Yeah. That's that's it. This is my King Gizzard collection. Um, I know it's not huge. I know they have so many albums, and I only have six of them. Um, obviously, there are other ones that I want. I would really love Float Along, Fill Your Lungs. I would like I'm In Your Mind, Fuzz, right? I'm In Your Mind, Fuzz. I, it's, it's something like that. really like Butterfly 3000, but I'm kind of a stickler for what copies I want. Um, so I don't know if I'd ever be able to get that for a fair price. Great band, great stuff, wonderful music, incredible work ethic, especially as seems how they drop an album at least every year just about, and it's always pretty stellar stuff. So I think that's um, highly commendable. I think that's awesome. But yeah, that's it. That's been this video. This is my King Gizzard collection. If you enjoyed, awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming and watching this video. Uh, it means a lot. I appreciate it quite a bit. Wow, I just looked at my tripod leg and I don't understand how this thing is standing. Okay, that's been this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.